Hey, I'm Jeroen from the Lux Lab and in this video I'll show you exactly how to import and user LUTs on your phone and how to export your videos so they don't become blurry or low quality when you upload them to Instagram or TikTok. Let's dive right into it. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you've completed your order and downloaded your files. Once you've downloaded your files, we'll get a zip folder in your downloads. And the first thing we have to do is unzip that folder. So you can just click it and it will unzip itself. This way you can open up the folder and see all of the different look folders inside of it. Now let's move on to how to import them and use them in VN Editor, which is the best app to use on your phone if you want to use LUTs. So it looks like this. I already have it, of course. I'm just going to open it. I have two clips ready inside of the timeline. One is DLOG M, the other one is in normal color mode. In VN Editor, you can only apply one LUT. So the DLOG M clip, we're going to use our DLOG M combination LUTs, which combine a conversion and a creative look into one. And then the second is a normal color mode clip. So I already converted to normal color mode using the DJI MIMO app, or you can also have clips that are filmed to normal color mode. And on those kind of clips, you can use our Rec 709 LUTs or all of the LUTs from our LUT bundle pretty much. Let's start with the second clip, which is in normal color mode. We're going to head over to filter and we're first going to import LUTs. So we're going to head over to add, file app, and we're going to find where we unzip the LUT bundle. And for example, we're going to import, let's say, our travel look LUTs. We're going to select all of them and open. Create a new folder, travel look, create filter library. And that's done. Now we have them in the VN Editor app and we can apply them straight to the clip. I like to use this one, so let's reduce it back down to about 65 and if you want to make some basic adjustments to really get the best possible look go back to filter choose adjust in the top you can decrease or increase the exposure for example so let's increase it a little bit and let's go to our highlights and decrease those a little bit to get some blue back at the top of the screen instead of just overexposed white and let's do a little bit more details in the shadows like so and that's it. That's how easy it is to color grade your videos on your iPhone. Now let's try to do the same for our DLOG M clip on our phone. For this, we're going to use our DLOG M combo LUT since we can only apply one LUT. So we can't convert the footage and then apply a creative look. So we have to use a combination LUT which combine the two. So we're going to go back to filter and we're going to scroll over to our DLOG M combo LUTs, which is right here. And we're going to start applying a couple to see which ones we like. As you can see, I mean, this first one's already Awesome. Let's use this one. So just so you know, with DLOG M combination LUTs, don't lower the intensity, since this would also lower the conversion and then your footage looks completely off. So just leave it at 100. Now this already looks great, but it's a little bit overexposed. So we're gonna go back to filter, choose adjust at the top and just lower the exposure a little bit. About so, and then scroll over to highlights to fix the some of the highlights, not too much. Increase the shadows, tiny bit. And that's it. Now we went from DLOG M to a color graded clip super fast with our combination LUT and it's just super easy to use even on your phone. Now let's also go into our export settings. Usually in VN Editor it's going to be on auto. We don't want that. We're going to switch to manual. We're going to set the resolution to 1080p. Also make sure by the way to switch off HDR and export audio only of course. Switch those two off. Resolution we have at 1080 but we also want, always want to film at the highest resolution possible. For FPS, choose 30 FPS, since this matches the standard FPS on Instagram and TikTok, which is also 30 FPS. And for average bitrate, after research, I found that TikTok and Instagram usually have a bitrate between nine and 12. So I recommend exporting at 12 Mbps. Once this is all set up, you can just click export and export a file. Also, by the way, 1080p will give you a lot smaller file sizes. Let's say I do it to 4K, this doubles the file size. And this is for just a really short video. So I like to keep it at 1080p also for that reason. And that's it. That should be everything you need to know about how to import and user LUTs on your phone, how to get the most out of your videos and exactly how to export them so you don't get blurry or low quality videos when you upload them to social media. Thank you for your purchase. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can.